Good morning, Hilary. Hi. <laughs> it's 4 p.m. Oh, here. Good afternoon to you. <laughs> yeah, and good morning to you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. I've just got back from a walk. <laughs> oh, nice. We have a gloomy day here. How about you? Um, well, it was it was a bit gloomy this morning, but the sun then came out, so it's um it brightened up a bit. But and we did manage to get for a walk without getting the rained on so that's one thing but we've got snow on the hills now uh oh yeah, yeah. i'll show you if i can oh Ooh. yes oh, <laughs> yeah. where, where, are you, where are you exactly i i oops when i want to get this right <laughs> i live in um north wales uh in in what what's called the conway valley okay so um it's have you heard of Conway Castle and Conway? It's right on, we're right on the north coast, um, not far from Plandidno. Um, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm interested in Anglesey. Ang Angle? Anglesey is not far from us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. Uh, uh, Anglesey's a bit that sticks out <laughs> at the oh, top, the, the yeah. island at the top. Well, right. we're, we're on the coast, just down the coast from, from there on the North Wales coast. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah um. Yeah. I believe that there's some family connection from we. I mean, right now my my family <laughs> research is in South Gloucestershire, but there yeah. are hints and rumors that, <laughs> of course, <laughs> Wales is just over the river from where my family. Oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah. River. It will be from Gloucestershire. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I've uh been a, a PC for a, a co coordinator for England and Wales. I <laughs> I'm quite well aware of. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Most of the geography, lots of little places still come across that I don't don't actually uh re you know, don't actually sure. haven't, haven't heard of and I have to look them up. So yeah. but at least I know where to look them up. Right. Well, thank goodness for Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> well, I use um something called Vision of Britain, oh. which is quite good for places and things. Um, but not everything's on there. Not all the little hamlets and tithings are on there. Um, but uh, we use because it's what we use in the project to uh, yeah. for for locations. So, right. <coughs> yeah. My, my my. Let's see. He would be my great great. No, my my second great grandfather was born in Cow Hill. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah so I've got favorite. I've got Wiltshire's family direct uh -huh. Uh -huh. my grand my grand my grandmother was a Wil born a Wiltshire but yeah. I've also got family from Wiltshire so it it, it can be quite confusing when you're, you're trying to research <laughs> sure yeah. yes <laughs> yeah well um I see we've got Emma waiting I've made you a co-host right and um did you want you me to admit her sure you can go ahead um, yeah, did you yeah. see that that Chris, uh, the my message, Chris Witten asked that we disable uh, WikiTree B. Yeah, I haven't um, I haven't done that yet. Let me just do it so that okay, I'm not going to muck I'll, anything up. <laughs> sure. I'll admit Emma. Well, yeah. Let's go to me extensions. I've got that many extensions on here. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Do you use Chrome? Yeah. It's all right. I've got yeah. it. Okay. It's all right. cool. I've got WikiTree B, the browser extension, the sorcerer. I've I've actually not no longer got WikiTree X and the WikiTree Toolkit on, which I did have, and WikiTree Plus I haven't got up there as a an extension anymore. But I had quite a lot of them. <laughs> yes. I've got lots of other ones as well. <laughs> Good morning, so, Emma. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. How? Where? Where are you zooming in from? I am in Norman, Oklahoma. Ah, okay. And I'm wearing my house robe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I was in my bathrobe, but I up, upgraded to a sweatshirt. A wiki. Where are you guys? So a sweatshirt. I'm in Chicago. Oh, okay. And I'm in North Wales. Oh, I'm wonderful. <laughs> well, I've, I've discovered in my genealogy that I have some, some roots in Wales. Well, I am one of the project coordinators for the Wales project. 
Oh, so wonderful. Well, you're, if you if when you know it, when you're perhaps a bit more, you know, if you're fairly new to WikiTree, then I'd say get a bit used to WikiTree. And but if you get to the point where you you needing to do things in a particular country, it's often it's often worth joining the project to get the get the help from the people in the project. Yeah, I've been really active on ancestry and uh, mm -hmm. family search and my heritage, uh, but uh, I. You know, I, I I signed up, you know, to get the emails from WikiTree, but I, that's why I'm here today is because I really don't understand a lot about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm also one of the greeters and mentors as well, so uh, Great. <laughs> I, hopefully I've got enough to, which yeah. is why I said I'd help Betsy, because yeah. he's yeah. obviously more familiar with things in the States. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got family in the States, but they, mm -hmm. they, they're not... Um, my direct ancestors their cousins because i've sure. got family that moved there rather than sure so. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> looks like like we lost emma hopefully Ooh. she'll come back yeah <laughs> <laughs> um sun the sunday um the sunday zoom is always much smaller mm -hmm. so you'll get, you'll get our undivided attention <laughs> i know the <laughs> west coast lot that's probably a bit quite uh uh, uh the yeah, the West Coast ones, it's probably quite early for them, isn't it? Right. It's, it's not yeah, it's, well, not too bad. It's about eight o'clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. oh it's, it's not too bad then. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it's 4 p.m. over here. So it's it's a reasonable time for people to join from the UK, but um, sure. it's uh it's it's people remembering or not being in the middle of doing something else. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Well, I think we should just dive in with your questions. <laughs> well, if you could just kind of give me, um, you know, like a brief introduction to WikiTree and kind of how it differs maybe from the other ancestry sites. Sure, sure. Um, and by the way, I, I, someone pointed out to me that my name tag is WikiTree. I, I'm okay. Betsy Pro, by the way. <laughs> um, and um, let's see. Well, I too started my journey on Ancestry, um, so I'm, I'm really familiar with their website. I do a lot with family search. Um, so um, I would say um, WikiTree and family search are similar in that they are both one one world tree. Um, well, mm -hmm. That's the intention. Um, but I I quickly found out on family search that. It, there's just there there are many many cooks in the kitchen and there there are not a lot of centralized guidelines or code of behavior and in fact that's what WikiTree has is the honor code it's like mm -hmm. ten points where mm -hmm. um, if you decide you really want to become active you need to sign that and you know it's things about being um, promising to um, you know add sources and. Um, mm -hmm you know, just collaboration and, and um, civility, all, all good things. Right. Um, right. So um, I think as I got involved in WikiTree, that's how I found the biggest difference. Um, that that was the, the winning difference for me. Mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. it was really important for me to, to prove things rigorously. And, mm -hmm. and it kind of drove me crazy when I would go on family search and I I'd see some illogical thing and, you know, there wasn't necessarily yeah. even a comment to explain why it had been done. Right. Whereas on WikiTree, you, you can and should do that, you know, if you make a change. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, and I'm at least somewhat familiar with the, uh, well, with the, I, I guess it's the American Genealogical Society uh, <clears throat> standards for proof. Mm -hmm. I took a course just about this time last year from, uh, uh, the University of Boston, mm -hmm. uh, a, a, like an introduction to genealogy course. Mm. And it was about, mm, it seems like to me it was about eight weeks. And it was very, um, it was very helpful. But um, <laughs> it, it, it was also, in a way, kind of like trying to drink from a, a, a fire hose. <laughs> because <laughs> they, they, every lesson, and it was good, you know, what I, and I saved everything. I, I really should go back and, and uh, 
uh, every lesson they would present a new topic. For example, you know, using census records yeah. might be one of the topics. And then they would give you several um, things that they had, you know, pulled from various census records and uh, it, and would give you tasks to, you know, find something a little bit deeper and then how you would document that. And it was just, uh, I found that it, the, the resources were so abundant, which I said is wonderful, mm. but it was almost like, uh, it, you know, I, it was hard to keep up with it for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it was just, you know, because I would really get into it and start working on, on it. I mean, some of these things, as you all well know, I mean, it can take you years <laughs> to find a link, you know, and it was, oh. and it was almost like, oh, I'm not finished with this one, and here's another one. <laughs> and and as well, the repository of records keep expanding. Yes, yes. And so even if it's not there in 2016, it might be there in 2018. Yeah. Well, and one of the things that I've uh, that I've noticed, particularly in the last few years, mm. is um, because so many people are being tested. Mm -hmm. uh, and so much is being added to the database of the DNA database, you know, mm -hmm. that, uh, and particularly on Ancestry, uh, they, uh, they have a thing now, and I don't know how long that's been in existence, but I just happened to notice it. Oh, I don't know, before, uh, right around Thanksgiving time here, which would be, you know, late November, I noticed that they had a thing where when you, uh, you know, went to a tree in Ancestry, then it and, and you had you had been able to go back four generations then all of a sudden a thing appeared that said potential father potential yes. mother yes. person right. you know right and but but what i've noticed also uh thankfully not frequently but at one particular line it was like they had someone as a potential mother and father and then a next generation, and then the next generation was that same potential mother and father that was beneath that one, you know? So it's like, mm -hmm. they couldn't have been this person's father and of son course. at the same time. You know? Right, right. And those those hints are, um, I mean, they're not human generated, they're, they're yes. um, algorithm generated. Yes, yeah. They're great yeah. clues, um, yeah. and you know, they can lead you places or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> um, Excuse me. Welcome, Judith. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where are you Can joining you us? Yes. Oh, we I'm in. I'm in Britain. I'm in Yorkshire, England. Oh, nice. I've been to Yorkshire. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? <laughs> very, very much. Yeah. Yes. Well, my, my, uh, my wife and I. One of our favorite television programs is the new iteration of. Uh, now I won't be able to think of it. Uh, it's about the vet. Oh, oh you mean James Harriet? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes yeah. Great and small. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And and I have several of my lines that go back to Yorkshire. So I've never yeah. been to Britain, but I I definitely want to uh, come. Uh, <laughs> so where are you then? I am in Norman, Oklahoma. Okay. Yes. Which is a suburb. It's it's in a different county, but it's it's rapidly becoming a suburb of the greater Oklahoma City area. Ah, right. And I'm um, in Chicago. Your Betsy. Yes, yes, Betsy. Betsy. yes. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah, Chicago. Right. And I'm in in North Wales. Ah, you're in Britain. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually I'm actually English, but I've lived in Wales for okay. almost thirty years now. But I've oh. I've 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 I've, I've all got, got all my her heritage is, is English. There are connections to Wales, but um, right. it's generally English. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Judith, how long have you been on WikiTree? Uh, probably about a year, but there's some things I just don't really understand about it. Mm, okay. um, uh, I, I do get caught up with things and it seems to be um, some things I think maybe stop me 
putting things on as much as I could because uh, I, I like the way it has to be quite accurate, mm -hmm. but I think it can be a little bit restrictive because you think if I don't know the exact everything about everything, I shouldn't put something on. <laughs> Well, what you what you can do if you're a little uncertain about something is is to put a research note, and that's the best place to. What, what does that mean? Um, okay, well, uh, let me um, screen share. Uh, oh, thank you. Yes, and I'll think of a profile where I've done a research note. <laughs> um, okay, can everybody see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Good. All right, um, and I'm gonna move this there. Okay, let's see, maybe one of my tutors. Um, oh, don't have research notes on him, George. Um, Annie Victoria. Okay, so um, yes, yes. So here is uh, my great grandmother, and um, so you see, I have the biography, and yes. this, and I have the sources. But in between, I have this section, um, which is very easy to add in. I can show you um, research notes where I just make uh, make a, you know a comment about actually my grandmother um, who changed her name. Um, from Mabel to Margaret. <laughs> Don't blame her. <laughs> <laughs> so that was initially very confusing to me when I, because my no oh. one spoke of it in my in my, mm -hmm. my mom had even forgotten that. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, let me save people the trouble. And you can see that I have my signature here um, with my WikiTree ID and the date that I made the com date and time I made the comment. Now, if you want to see how oh. I did that. Um, you know, if it's something very basic, you don't need to sign it. But if it's something um, that you, you know, sort of want to take credit for, or you're basically, you're kind of the source for the comment, then it's a good idea to do that. Right. Um, so going into edit mode. So you, you notice up here, we've got biography with the two yeah. signs on it. Yeah. Yep. If you, if you put any biography or anything under in edit, do you have to know how to do the computer programming with the uh, specific punctuation or not? Well, you do have to learn how to do some things. <laughs> and that's why we're here, <laughs> to, <laughs> to, help with, to help with that. Um, yeah. Um, what, I would, yeah, what I would suggest is if you're in Yorkshire and you've got English ancestry and it's mostly English, you would probably be better off joining the England project because you'll get a lot of help when you oh, join. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I'm actually the England project membership coordinator oh, or one of the oh, two. Hilary. So, Hello, Hilary. <laughs> yeah. so um, I can, uh, I can, uh, if I, if I know what your wiki tree, ID, if you, if you put your wiki tree ID in the, in the um, chat there, I'll, yeah. I'll send you a link to the, okay. the joining thing and then you can okay. have a look at it and make your mind up whether you think it because it just it just we will say you'll say you'll learn an awful lot and there's a, and it'll also you'll also be able to access a lot of information yes. um, uh, as to how to do certain things as well and some some of it is visual and some of it's written but whichever suits you the best um it's a, you know um the england project was one of the first to set up what we call um well we call it an orphan trail um it's called other things for some of the other projects but it will it it just means that somebody with more experience can help you and oh, get yeah. you to a certain level thank you um, right oh. yeah so i'll well, put I... that into chat yes mm. Yeah. So um, and I need you... to do that. I I need to do that as well, Hillary, because when yeah. when I like on ancestry, when I look at the pie chart, you know, of my uh, mm. ancestry from the DNA, I'm like eighty to eighty five percent British Isles, Scotland, mm. England, mm. Wales, Ireland. Mm. So do they? Does WikiTree have one for each of those areas? Yeah, you used to just have a United Kingdom project, mm -hmm. and then it split up into the individual countries. So depending on what you, where you, where you are, I, I ideally you join one where you probably got the new, the nearest to you, initially, mm -hmm. because that's probably 
they'll probably you'd go in with something looking at, at records more recent records and then you can work your way yeah, back that, through the to the older records where obviously there's less things available yeah that would probably be england and uh scotland mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and i can attest um i just finished uh the first level of the england project orphan trail a few weeks ago and it was it was a great learning experience um, and I'll be I'll be carrying on into the second level in a few weeks. Um, so I can't I can't recommend it enough. I tried to help with the Scotland Trail, but I didn't get very far, and I had to give up and and hope that what I'd done would help. But I do did think um, there's a Scotland oh what do you call it Scotland's people, and yes. I thought that was a good resource and even Absolutely. then I couldn't really do it properly um but I don't think there's anything equivalent for England as so um, um as I said it's the actual orphan trail is what we do um so we oh. start with the period from 1837 up to um about around about 1950-ish um because mm -hmm. there's a lot that covers a lot of the um, records that are quite easily available, oh, and right. and they're also they're not all of and also we try to encourage people to use free resources rather than the paid yes. sites. Yes. So that 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 so so you're therefore you're not spending money on on something and you're working it's very you're working. expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I will. As I say, it's it, it's it, it if you're not spending money out, you you feel like you can do have a look and and that, and it'll give you a, a opportunity to find those resources for your own family that you can then add into yes. your tree where you don't have to actually have bought things necessarily to do things. So. Yes, yes. I have looked at uh, the Mormon one. Um, family search. Yes, family search quite yeah. a bit. Mm. But I find some of the things are inaccurate a little bit, but that it, I mean, it helps to have something, even if you know something might be inaccurate, but um, it doesn't show you the actual documents, I don't think. It's yes. their interpretation of a document. For instance, I found they put a place name as Eastburn, which I know was Saltburn because it was in the Teesside archives. And mm -hmm. Eastburn in Yorkshire is near Keithley in West Yorkshire. It's only a few miles from here. And I know it's not under the Teesside archives. I tried to send them a message, but I don't think it got there. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But on the other hand, it can be quite useful. And also I found one or two people that I've been able to com communicate with that I know I must be related to somehow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've actually put the link in the in the chat there. So it, oh, um, and you. that's the G to G post where you just need to um if you just say you you want to join the project um oh, and, right. and that and then I'll leave a message so that you know how how to contact me and I, and I can uh, send you a, a lot more information. I'm going to save that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, hope it's still there when we're finished. I think it should be. But I'll, uh, I'll take your, I'll take, I'll take your, um, your, uh, your, your information anyway. And I, and if I don't thank hear you. anything, at least I know uh, that I've that uh, I can get in contact with you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it is a bit scary. Um, I missed a meeting that I meant to join previously a few months ago, and I think it was with Betsy, and I said. Um, some of my sister-in-law's family don't have documentation because they come from a country where um, things like that, they weren't, there wasn't a paper document in mm -hmm. the past. Mm -hmm. I think it was to you, Betsy, I can't remember, but- It's bringing uh, up uh, vague memories in, in the G2G that we- Yes, we yes, because she's, um, she's from Sarawak in Borneo, and I know the names of lots of her relatives. Mm -hmm. The ones who were born in England or Australia, there's probably, there will be birth certificates for, but 
people like her father and her grandfather mm -hmm. born in Sarawak. There's no paper documentation, I don't think. Mm. They can't even prove they own their own homes or land. Mm. And mm. It can be taken from them uh, uh, and cut down for growing uh, palm, oil, palm oil things. Mm. Uh, because they don't have paper documentation. It wasn't part of their, um, uh, their way of life. So, mm. you know, that sort of brings up all sorts of things. Yes, and I, I would bet that there's someone in, the, you know, Wikitree has almost a million members, which yes. is 900,000 some. Um, and there's probably somebody who knows about that area yes. and what might be available could you put in the chat what it is and i'll see if i can find out for okay. you okay yeah. yes okay yeah. um yeah and, um, in the meantime welcome elaine <laughs> hi where where are you joining us from um hi i'm in somerset in england welcome hello <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we have Somerset, Yorkshire, and, and Oklahoma, Wales, and Chicago. <laughs> oh, who's in Wales? I am. <laughs> hi, I'm, Hillary. Hi, I'm I'm the um the um one of the um, project coordinators for the England and Wales project. I'm actually got I've Ooh. actually got English ancestry, but I live in live in Wales. So no, I live in yeah. England, and I've got Welsh ancestry. So yeah, yeah. yeah um but uh yeah so uh i was just saying about the uh england project for the uh these two other people because they they both got some english ancestry that they uh that they probably need to document saying how uh how we would help them to sort out um what they need to do for their um to get their in their Eng english ancestry on on onto wiki tree well, i have a general question so um you know, as I said earlier, I've been interested in genealogy. I, I, I started getting really interested in when I was in my 30s. And of course, back then, it was so much more difficult than it is now. <laughs> um, but, but now, um, because uh, so many people are having DNA testing, it, my, my, you know, my tree used to go back to about my great grandparents or great great grandparents. And now, course I don't know that all of this stuff is verified but at least according to ancestry I possibly know my eight great great grandparents and my 16 great 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 grandparents and I'm wondering <clears throat> how do you decide which direction to go in <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a really great question let me let me get out of this um by the way this down here at the bottom um is a really helpful button if you you know i went into edit mode to show you all the research notes but i'm not going to save anything so mm. just gonna return to the profile without saving um so speaking of what you're saying which way to go um there's this tab family tree and tools mm -hmm. um, which is one of several ways on we um, the wiki tree has thanks to our our brilliant coders who design apps and extensions mm -hmm. this is only one of many ways you can look at your family tree but uh, i i've grown very comfortable looking at my tree this way and so it can help you decide um, which way, you know, I can see, oh, I, I really do need to get the great grandmother in here. Um, and this, this is of my great grandmother. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Well, well, I think my, I, more, more specifically, my question is, do you, do you work, um, well, you can, I'm wanting to, so like where yours says, uh, Isaac early, that's mm -hmm. your grandparents, right? No, that's no. your parents. This That's is your... my uh, third, fourth. He's my fourth okay. great grandfather. Okay. Yeah. So let's say you filled out everything to your fourth great grandparents. Do you do you work on that line until you get all of them filled out before you try to find things for them, their parents, or do you pick Sarah Gaynor and then just go with her as far back as you can, or is it just a matter of choice? I think it's a matter of choice. 
Okay. Yeah, and, and, you know, sometimes, uh, unfortunately, we, we hit a brick wall. Mm-hmm. You know, I could be going back for surrogators mm-hmm. and back and back and, and mm-hmm. bam, you know, I can't go any further. Um, it might have, I, I, you see, I have some, some tutors in my tree um, and mm-hmm. that's been a line of great interest for me. For sure. So I just, you know, uh, have spent a lot of energy there because mm-hmm. of that. So it's really, it's personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hillary, what do you think? Yeah, well, I started my research before lots of stuff was available online. I had to go to archives and places to even just find some of the indexes when I started researching um, over 20 years ago. And the um, so I basically all I started with originally was searching my straight st- straight line ancestry but I've also been researching my husband's side of the family because of for my son they're they're all his ancestors mm-hmm. um so I've got a lot of people on Wikitree that I've researched and uh, but finding information sometimes it can be useful to when you get to an ancestor to then look at their all uh, look at their descendants because it's, if you can then come in contact with somebody that shares that ancestor with you mm-hmm. they might have more information than what you can glean mm-hmm. through what's available on um online mm-hmm. or yeah, in, I... even in the archive um can you tell me what you think about um family stories um i think I've heard family stories that have turned out to be true and family stories that have turned out to be at least partly true. Mm-hmm. But yeah. are yeah. some of them just total bunk? I mean, obviously you don't know my family. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question, but um, yeah, do you that, think that's a... there's a grain of truth in most family stories? Sure. Um, yeah, and, and Elaine, I did see you. Uh, we'll come back when we finish this topic. Um, well, speaking of my tutors, um, my my uh, my mom and my aunt and and uh, my my grandmother. There's this this persistent um, belief that yes, we go back to Henry Tudor. Um, <laughs> um, uh, this that's what got me into genealogy. I at yes. first I was eight years old, and I I, I had been given Tudor as a middle name, and. Mm. Uh, I, I thought, like, you know, I want to find out more about this. And, you know, yes. I went away for many decades and then come back, came back to it. Um, I, I have not proved it. Or I'm not convinced. But I have found in obituaries of tutors, um, and there are, you know, through collateral lines, there are, there are many tutors all over the place, you know, that that belief goes back into the early 19th century and in the family. And that that intrigues me because I'm I'm thinking, well, the farther back the belief goes, you know, I mean, where there's smoke, there may be fire, you know. So I haven't I haven't given up, but like I said, I'm I'm not convinced. So. Um, <laughs> would, would DNA be the way to go? Um, it it could be. Um, yeah, the the so I would have to go back for a male ancestor. I would have to go back to my second great grandfather because I'm the daughter of a daughter of a daughter, and so on. Yes, um, and I'm that has crossed my mind that I could trace through him down to a male descendant, mm-hmm. and then see if I could do something with Y DNA. Yes. Uh, yeah, family stories are are they they're tantalizing. Mm. I've just been looking up some stuff on Wikitree about, um, right, I have a link with the Tudors, believe it or not. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I've just been looking up, uh, I have um, a fifth great grandfather whose name was Charles Gastineau, who was uh, the son of French Huguenot refugees. Hmm. And his brother was called George Gastineau. And he emigrated to the United States to, um, where was it? Virginia, I think. Uh, It was before it was the United States. It was counted as a colony of England. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) And um, uh, he married a woman called Mary Marvel, who was directly descended from um, Lettuce Knowles and Mary Boleyn, 
Mary Boleyn was, because she was the mistress of Henry VIII, it's possible that her daughter was a daughter of Henry VIII. She was already married to somebody else. So this isn't at all clear. Um, was Mary there was a link with the Tudors. <laughs> yes, interesting. Because it was Anne, Bo Anne Boleyn was yes. the second wife. And so mm. how was Mary related to Anne? Sister. 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 Yeah. 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 But uh, anyway, I've just been looking into it because it was a bit. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I figure my my own personal family story probably is something, you know, through a collateral line. I don't think we're directly, we couldn't be directly. Well, yes, this is mm -hmm. obviously if we were directly descended, yeah. we, well, we'll probably be the Queen of England or something. <laughs> 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 so <Yeah>. can't be. <laughs> well, Elaine, what was your question? Oh, well, sorry, I, the conversation's moved on, but um, we were talking about how to go back. Do you go back through a direct line forever and ever until you hit a brick wall? I find it very difficult because I start working on somebody and I go, oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I never actually get very far because I'm constantly <laughs> hopping on to more and more interesting things. But, yeah. Yeah, I have a I have a story that kind of illustrates what Judith was talking about about family stories. My maternal grandfather, uh, my mother's maiden name was Schrader, and they and we now know that her, mm, I think, third great grandfather was the one who changed the name from. S-C-H-R-A-D-E-R to just S-R-A-D-E-R. But, but my grandfather's grandfather was named Felix Jefferson Schrader and the story in the family from my grandfather and from, he had 14 brothers and sisters. And so the story was that Felix Schrader had immigrated from Germany and came to America from, uh, landed at the port of Galveston, which is on the coast of Texas. And that, and the Schrader family, at least going back, you know, a couple of three generations all lived in Texas and so for years and years and years we believed that story and in fact one time I was making a trip uh, not specifically for genealogy but for a conference and it was in Austin Texas which is the capital of Texas where they have the state historical society and so forth and so we had a, a break in the conference and I went down there and asked them about that and they said well if he immigrated through the port of Galveston it's unlikely that there's going to be any records of that because uh, there was a terrible hurricane sometime in the early 1900s. Uh, I mean, uh, like around 1900, 1901, 1902, something like that. And it just basically destroyed the city of Galveston and all their records were lost. And so I thought, well, I'll give up on that. But then uh, because of, uh, of the the you know, the rapid proliferation of, of, of knowledge about ancestry, we now know that that's not true at all. Uh, the, the Schrader came from Schrader, from uh, Germany to America and uh, into Maryland in about the 1700s. But I've traced uh, the Schrader line. And again, all this is not documented right now. It's just supposition, but at least on on ancestry and on WikiTree, I mean, on uh, my heritage and on uh, family search. So, you know, again, I guess that's another question is if something shows up on all three of those genealogy sites, is it three errors or is it, or is it three confirmations? But anyway, oh, yeah. grandpa always said that the, one of the places that our, uh, our German Schrader line came from was a, a city in Germany called Solingen. And it's near Essen, and it's an area that's known for, um, uh, traditionally, it's been known for cutlery, making knives and swords and things like that. And one of the straighter lines about uh, that goes back into Germany was in Solingen. So it was mm -hmm. interesting to me that he had that part right, but he cert they certainly didn't have the part right about Felix Jefferson coming up through Texas. So... I, I, that's a, I think that's an example maybe of what yeah. you're yes. talking about. You hear mm -hmm. a family story and maybe bits of it may be true, but then I, 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 although it's, uh, I'm glad that Wikitree makes you verify everything because uh, otherwise you're just guessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so easy to just, for 
somebody to put up a family tree on Ancestry or mm -hmm. any of the websites and just say that somebody was such and such a, and that, and, mm -hmm. and not attach anything to it and it yeah. be unsourced. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, people pass things on through um, GEDCOMs, through, work, uh, through emails, through whatever. They pass it on to somebody else. And because something appears 10 times doesn't mean to say that it's correct. That's you right. really want, I, I, I mean, I, I've done, I did a lot of um, uh, uh, video conferencing with um, somebody called Pat Richley Erickson. She was, uh, her AKA was Dear Myrtle. She, she stopped um, doing things last April, um, but she used to do things on a, a Monday um, and that for, for, a video thing every week pretty much every week and she also did some study groups and things and and some of them were like looking at how do you uh, uh genealogical proof in other words what have you got to prove that, that somebody's the father of, um, of somebody or somebody's the mother of somebody and it it sometimes it's the amount of different records that you got but quite often it's when that record was recorded and who recorded it rather than mm -hmm. the fact that you've got about five censuses saying somebody was born mm -hmm. in such and such but the actual baptism record says something different and the baptism was recorded by in the church close to when that person was born so the chances are that the, maybe that one record might be correct and all the rest um, incorrect because somebody is incorrectly has perhaps moved when they were very young and thought that they were born somewhere there they weren't oh, so yeah. it, it's so important that that's why wikitree wants to you to put the records on or put put what you can of the records on or where did you get that information from basically if it came from a an, an unsourced tree then you've got, you've always going to be thinking well i'll put this on as a speculation i'm not sure about it I'm now going to look for the records to back up because somebody told me this was true. Uh, but the earlier you go back, the more Wikitree wants you to say, well, you don't don't create a profile for somebody unless you've got a what we call a primary source, a, a source that was recorded pretty much at the time of, a, and of an event rather than just, um, later. Sorry. <laughs> Can I just mention, though, that... Uh... A great grandfather of mine has three different places of birth in censuses, and they are official records. And he's down as having been born in three different places. <laughs> yeah, I've I've come across people that every, almost pretty much every census something slightly different. Sometimes it's because they want to they they say something more specific. So they might tell you that they were born in somewhere which is a little hamlet of a parish and then another census might say the parish or the nearest town i mean for yeah, years, i think they're a bit more different than those but sometimes <laughs> but you know sometimes sometimes it can be widely different because it depends who who gave the information to the enumerator if all you've yes. got is enumerators books whereas if you've got something that they wrote down themselves yes again it still remember it still depends on who wrote it down it still depends on who Absolutely. gave the information if it wasn't Enumerators sometimes make mistakes because I've found oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, census forms with spelling mistake of mm -hmm. somebody in my family. And artist is written as Arliss, and I know it was artist. Yeah. Uh, when you know somebody in your family <laughs> who's had that name and then it's written wrongly, and you're trying to say to people, look, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know. I mean, it's, it's hard to conceive now but I mean literacy was and spelling yeah. were not where they are now you know 100 150 years yes. ago yeah yes. and yes. um yeah I mean I think at least on a death certificate there's the name of the informant is is given ah. so you can kind of you know guess you know like how likely is this person to have accurate information yeah um, but in the case of the census i always keep that in mind that um the person providing the information could have been um a, a child in the family it could have been the neighbor even yes. because the family wasn't yes. home um yes right. yes yeah. my favorite are the wedding are uh, the marriage certificates because those they're amazing that they, the absolute rubbish you come across in them 
people just put down what they wanted other people to believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're worse than the burial certificates and and, and yes, and the death yeah. certificates and the birth certificates and the baptism registers. Yeah, there's a there's a, a marriage record for my my maternal grandparents and my grandmother was uh, 17 when they married and if you look at the marriage certificate they said she was 22. Mm. Mm. quite common mm. yeah mm. or the or, or the father when the person when when you when you've got the birth record and they were obviously illegitimate because they didn't mm -hmm. give any mother's maiden name so you think well yes and you can't find any father and yeah <laughs> well and yeah. then people and this this same set of grandparents we only found out when when my uh, grandfather died uh that uh he and my grandmother had both been married before they married mm -hmm. and and it was something that wasn't told i mean i think my maybe my my mother and her sisters knew it but they didn't tell all the grandchildren <laughs> <laughs> well i've got a, i've got a one place study and recently i was going through trying to find um people in the some of the earlier censuses and things <laughs> and i found somebody had married in my one place study is a village where I live in. Somebody had married in this village. I then found a newspaper report that this person was being um, charged with bigamy. He had <laughs> married um, a few years before, uh, 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 between the censuses, uh, between the previous census and that, and and uh, the census I had him on. Um, and he'd actually married in the place where I come from in England, which. Oh, <laughs> which quite amused me so i've now um got i've now added a bit more information to his profile so um uh and i need to add his um his first wife but his first wife um by the time of this census record that i had she had remarried but she's got children with her that were obviously from her first marriage and his name was different and all sorts of things but i actually came yeah. across it in the newspaper so it you just don't know what you're going to come across. Yeah. I think bigamy was a big deal, wasn't it? Yeah. So many of my family had, had bigamous marriages. You know. mm. Mm. Very difficult for people to get divorced in those days, of course. So mm -hmm. it yeah. probably happened a lot more than, than we like mm. to think. Mm. Yeah. That's a good Can I ask a question? Uh, sure. Because I'm quite new to Wiki, really. Yes. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it because I, I love the way that you have to put a source for everything that you put in, otherwise you get challenged. Brilliant. So you always, you know, it's much more trustworthy than any anything else I've come across. But I do have a problem because I would very much like to put actual copies of documents that I've um, garnered and I can't figure out how to put anything like that on or a photograph. Mm -hmm. Is there a way of doing that? Well, we can uh, go over how to add a photograph. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Yes. Um, uh, no, you want to, yeah, because people do put up documents. What I would do is, um, I mean, a lot of my documents are PDF'd, but mm -hmm. I, I would convert that into a JPEG. I think that would Easy. be yeah. the mm -hmm. way to do it. Um, Hillary, do you have any photos to, to add? Um, not at the moment. No, I don't actually have a lot of um, photographs that I uh, <laughs> that I need to. I think I've, I have added some to my some of my tree. I have added um, certificates actually, um, but um, I, I don't have any that I need to add. I have certainly got um, uh, profiles that I've already added things right, to. Right. Right. Well, what I'll do, um, I, I will pretend I will pretend to add a photograph and then um, stop short of the final the final mm. step. Um, so let's see if I go to myself and let's go to, um, oh, that's still to her. <coughs> to me, my father and his brother. Okay. Um, right. So you can see I have two two photographs already, um, and so you would um, to add a, you know a, a something a, a JPEG of a document. It would be exactly the same process. Actually, I do think I have a photo of him to add. Sorry, I have so, no idea. I, I'm not following this. How do I? I go into images. Oh, 
go into yes so i'm in the profile that is you know you you're you're interested in and now yeah. you're gonna go to the images tab yeah and then it says uh do you have a photo or a oh, click to upload yeah. ah to right upload. i have missed this then that's that sounds really easy many thanks yes mm. yeah and then you just choose the fall oh, actually i can go all through the uh through the process so let's see i have his wedding photo um and um, it is important. WikiTree puts a really high priority on um, not violating copyright issues. Uh -huh. So um, like here I'm going to say scans from family collection. Um, now, like on Ancestry, you'll see all the time that people are um, uh, sharing sharing photos and copying. You know, just oh, I'll take that for my my profile of so and so. Um, and that's a no-no on WikiTree. So what I do when I see a cool photo on Ancestry is I send them a message and explain, you know, oh, I, I work on WikiTree. Here's the profile of this person. May I have your permission to mm. use your photo? And then they very often say yes. Uh, and then yeah, what I would put here is um, shared with permission of Ancestry user Joe Smith. Do you uh, ever ask them what they're, how they obtained it? um sometimes yes yeah because you you do sort of you know <laughs> i mean you're taking their they word. may have copied it from someone sure. else <laughs> yeah yeah but i think on an ancestry it does say who the original sharer was oh okay yeah although yeah. it's not always the person that actually has the photo i yeah. know from experience myself so uh, we yeah. do have to be yeah. you know if you're not sure if you're safe or not to put things up i've i've i basically put things up that I know I have scanned myself or I have the photograph that I've taken myself or that I know from the person that's given it to me that they have it. Yeah. Don't you wish everybody in the last, well, how, how long have we had, almost 200 years that we've had photography that everybody put names on the back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 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 You've got piles of photographs and you don't know who they are. <laughs> okay, so I've um, put in location and date and um, okay, this is a photograph, so I can leave that as photo and then upload. Oh, wow. Right. Lovely. Yeah, wow. that's a lovely photo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. Yeah. And then, um, so what I, I don't have is my aunt. Um, she, she doesn't have a profile in WikiTree, but if she did, I could just add her WikiTree ID here so mm -hmm. that I don't have to upload to her profile as well. Ah. Just, it will be linked to, to them both. Mm -hmm. um, so now when I go back to his profile, there it is. Oh, yeah. yes. So, and there's also a way if you want to, um, if you recall with my, um, and my great grandmother's um, her profile. I had inserted the pro the photos within the biography, mm. um, and and that can be a, a nice way to do it. It's very easy. Like if I go to this photo, and mm. yes, down here there are these helpful hints. So it, it says to use this image inside. The text of a profile you just copy exactly copy this text oh. and then put it inside the bio and when you save the photo will be in. oh that's really helpful yeah so i have a question yes i have a family biography uh you know um genealogy um, and I want to list that as a source mm -hmm. and then reference it in the people that I'm adding. Okay. Uh, well, I think hmm. I, I remember now that you, uh, you mentioned this in the, in your reply to the G2G post. Um, I think what you'd have to do is um, uh, construct a, a, a citation uh the way you would you know in any sort of research paper um with you know title author um published. so what i had in mind was more like um 
uh, I've seen where people set up a separate reference page and they they actually copied the text out. This was copyrighted in 1908, so it's expired. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I wanted to take more information that's in the front uh, of it that explains about the family. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. of the Borton family um, before, in, in addition to the reference. So it was, um, I know people that put up pages of information that then gets referenced through multiple uh, profiles. A well, free space page, probably, I yeah. would say. Yeah, you can create, you don't have, not all pages on Wikitree have to be um, profiles of a person. You mm -hmm. can create a, a, a page that's what, what we call a free space page, which is, um, well, projects use free space pages, but um, also um, you can create your own free space uh, free yes, space that, pages. that's what I was wondering about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so for for well, first of all, um, if you go to your watch list, um, that will show you all your profile, all the the profiles that you're managing, your profile manager of. Mm -hmm. But on this other tab, here mm -hmm. are my free space pages. Oh. Um, I don't have that many, but um, you can see that recently I created this one um, to, to sort of lay out um, a conundrum <laughs> that I have on one of my lines. Your project uh, question. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Um, so um, these are really flexible um, templates that you can, you can easily create. The way to do it is to go under the add menu and then you would add a new thing. Oh. Create a page for anything. Oh. Um, and it, it's sort of, you, know, you can look through this list of four things. Um, number two would be the way you would relate. Um, you know, very often when we're adding profiles, we know the relationship. It's it's already, you know, oh, this is um, a, a prof an existing profile's sister, mother, brother. And but if you want to add someone who's completely unrelated to the tree, you would do it. Oh, so like your fan club. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, friends, yeah. friends, associates, and neighbors. Yes. Yeah. Those people uh, that appear in the census records that are not right. relative, that are servants or uh, just a visitor. Visitors to marriages and things like yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. Could yeah. this be someone you think might be related, but you can't prove it? Yeah, could be. Right. Yeah. yeah. So okay. you can't connect it to the family yet, but you could create the person and you'd you'd actually be, yeah. Yes. And, and over here, we have examples. If, you, if you're curious, um, you can look at these examples. Um, as you can see, it's a wide range of interest. Model ships. Uh, I <laughs> know people have done them for pets and family recipes. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, as Hillary said, one, one place studies, one name studies, projects. <laughs> um, but what you would probably want is um, a free space profile that's uh, the most flexible. Um, and you would go oh, here. Oh, that just, I'm sorry. That, that just, was in the drop down menu. Yes, under under, and, under add. my wiki tree. No, under, new thing. Add. under add. Add. Add new thing. Yeah, add, add new, new thing. thing. Yeah. Mm. It's, uh, it's, it's very, I'm not going to go through it, but it's very, mm. it's very easy. Okay. And then if I wanted to see if I could find a, um, free space that somebody else has done where they're taking a reference book mm -hmm. and using that as um, something that they're connecting to. Um, I guess I just need to browse and find one. Right. Um, is this a free space page that you know exists? Um, so I was sort of mentored for a little bit by um, Randy Beebe, and uh -huh. he had created one for one of our mutual ancestors, um, Martin Beebe. Who, Martin Beebe. Hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, let's who try. fought in the Revolutionary War. <laughs> um, do you know his, do you think I could, well, maybe I could find his profile and get to I, the, 
Is it? Yeah, maybe because I don't know his number. It's uh, two E's on the end. Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got. Um, and what is his date of birth approximately? Uh, Just roughly. If, if you see Major or um, Major Martin Beebe. Major Martin Beebe. He's a military officer, so. Hmm. You can go <clears throat> control F for find and, and put major. Here, let, let me go to mine and see if I can find him. Oh, not there. I think, no, no, it. mate. It's not showing up as a. Yeah. Um, that's why I was the name. If you just give me. I've sorted by birth year. So if you knew approximately when he was. Yeah, I'm looking for him through my tree. My well, here's Martin Beebe Sr. managed by Randy Beebe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so he was born 1738. Oh, 1738. So That'd be earlier one. Yeah. I wonder if it's a. 1738. Oh, there he is. First oh. one. William, ah. William Martin B. No, you, you, it was the one right below that. One. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Found Ooh, it. Major Third Martin Beebe. Yep. Third time's the charm. Um, okay, so I'm looking. So this is BB 1313. And so we're looking for ooh, this free space page. Yeah, I thought that he had shown me. Is this secondary? Oh, mon monograph. The monograph of descendants of family of BB. Yeah, oh, you just passed it. it. Yeah, up oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Biography. Secondary oh. source, Clarence BB is, okay. is his book. Oh, okay. In his book. Aha, there we go. Okay, so that would give me something to follow in terms of sure. creating this. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. And yeah, notice each... how he, oh, sorry, Hillary, I just wanted to point out, you can you can tag, like in this case, and I did this with my fam McMurray family mystery page. Uh, I tagged the surname, I tagged the location. You know, it can help other people find it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you just want to see how um how we, how he links to this page? I was just thinking how on that pro on that profile he linked to the free space page yes, might please. be useful. Sure, yeah. Um nope. Okay. No. So once you create it and then you want to link it to multiple um, um do you do you mean go into Hillary? Do you mean go, go into in go into the edit and just show how they how you can create the, the link in the profile let's see oh goodness it'll be it's a secondary this. storage project his sourcing looks so nice and i think how will i ever learn how to do all that there, it is. Yeah, that, there we go that, it's it's a lovely profile yeah yeah so you can see that that this is how you uh this is how you hyperlink to a profile. So if you do the double square brackets with a wiki tree ID and then the vertical line and then the name, it's going to show up just as a hyperlink that says yeah. Clarence BB. Yeah, it's or you can just copy what it if you go to a profile, there's a bit at the top that says link, and you can just copy and paste that that it'll paste that into the profile for you. So you don't mm -hmm. have to do all the typing, but it's useful to know both. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then similarly down here, this is a hyperlink, again, the double square brackets, um, and it's so it's space because it's a free space page, and then the title of the free space page, the, the vertical line, and then afterwards is how it's going to come up as the hyperlink. And then See. what's the reference name equal monograph? That's the um, citation. Yeah, the last bit, oh. the bit after the uh, bit, the bit after the line is is what what shows in the text, and you can put whatever you like in there. You can you could just put one word in there, and mm. if you clicked on that one word, it would take you to the page. You don't have to; it doesn't have to be exactly the same as as the the name of the page. The important bit is the first bit of the 
of, of that within that square brackets and the bit after the um i'm trying to think what it's called um that 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 line is yeah. is the um the bit after that is what is just what shows in that 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 on the on the uh actual profile and it won't it but it won't show the space and all that because it because of how you've got it linked there right but you were asking about this right shelly yes yeah so this this is just the citation um this is standard for any inline citation where you would have ref and then at the end you would have ref but with this backward slash and so, oh now so the way this has been created um is for a repeating citation so that you don't have to put in all of the gobbledygook every time you you just put in ref equals monograph that's the way this has been set up. Um, if you have a site that you continually um, cite, a source that you continually citing. Yeah, and that that was what I was thinking because there's a lot of BBs in here. This book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh -huh. I want to put one reference and then just keep cross referencing. Right, right. So this is this is the way you would want to do that. Ref name equals whatever you want to call it monograph or you know what whatever makes sense to you it doesn't have to be monograph. okay yeah. hmm. and when you repeat it you just take the first bit the ref name equals monograph or whatever you put in there and then you just put a a uh was it a forward slash or a, a backslash i can't remember which i'm seeing if i can find yeah uh, it should be somewhere where he repeats it yeah right, exactly <laughs> Um, so well since i've used a, a repeat thing so yes yes well i'm not sure but uh, yeah but you can you just you just so you don't have to put the whole of the rest of the reference stuff in it's just that first name with a oh i'm trying to find a see if i can find a uh, one of my profiles that's got it on yeah hillary i've made it so you can screen share yeah yeah let's see if i can find one that i've done it on a, trying to Think yeah. who I might have put it on. Thank you. That was that what helps me understand how I get to creating those free spaces and what are my options are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is going to help me meet that 2023 challenge. <laughs> oh, are you doing the, the 15 for 15? Yes. Yes. Mm. Great. Mm. Good. Well, you, as a matter of fact, you can create a free space page to track your pro progress if you uh, somebody commented about taking that list and putting it in notes and that's what i did I, that's where oh, my checklist yeah. is yep yep mm. it's a good good way to do it too i'm trying but, to find the page that actually says about repeat um repeating citations but i can't find it now um, yeah i know i've used it before but i can't it was mm -hmm. a while ago mm -hmm. Um, actually, hmm, you know what? Here's what I could show. Um, I'll go back here, Martin Beebe. So I created um, uh, WikiTree cheat sheets. <laughs> there we go. WikiTree citation cheat sheet. Um, and I learned when you are citing the same sources repeatedly. Okay, so so I'm citing the 1901 census over and over. So then the first time I would do ah. this whole thing. And then the second time, the all times thereafter, I would so do- So it's the backslash. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last name equals whatever it is in quotes, backslash. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Nice cheat sheet. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's open at all times on my computer. I used to have things set up, but now I use that. I use because I use um, a lot of the time I'm just updating things with using Sorcerer. I very rarely use a lot of the things I used to have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, well, we're coming up on an hour. Do we have um, any? Last burning questions.
Bernita, we didn't get a chance to say hello. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my user ID in the chat. Um, this is how you can find me. And if you have questions, feel free to send me a, put a comment on my page, my profile page, or send me a personal, a private message, however, however you like. And those of you who are interested in England, um, you can find the project under projects on the, on, from the, from the drop down there. Um, and you can easily contact me through the project anyway, because I'm on, because uh, I'm, I'm on the main page for the projects for the England project so <laughs> if, you, if you look at on there <laughs> I understand a lot of my ancestors came from England but I, I can't find my original immigrant we, we keep going back Ooh. generation uh, generation and we're still here in the colonies <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you a quick funny story at, to end you know that we're now toward the end I was doing some ge I was doing some physical genealogy research in Texas and I I knew the town where my uh, where my great grandfather was was born, and uh, my grandfather had fourteen brothers and sisters, and my great and his father had about that many, and um, and we have a picture of them that uh, and they were all boys except one girl. There was about twelve boys and one girl, and they they really do like look like outlaws. <laughs> and so we, I went to this little town where they were from and I went to the post office and asked the, the post, it was a woman who was the postmistress there. And, and I was in my thirties and I thought she was old. So I, so she was probably in her sixties. <laughs> but anyway, I asked her, I said, are there any Schraders that still live in this area? And she said, well, the old home place burned several years ago, but I think one of those brothers wives still lives in the county seat, which is about 10 miles away. So I drove over there and uh, most Texas towns, the county courthouse is in the center of the square and then the, the downtown stores are built around that square. And there was a drugstore there and I went in and again, uh, I thought, who I thought was an older lady. <laughs> and I said, can you tell me, do any Schraders still live in this part of the area? And she said, oh, honey, you don't want to be related to them. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I said, well, it's a bit late for that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you shouldn't own the ownership <laughs> connection. <laughs> Well, that's one way to do genealogy, just, you know, like on, on that's boots on the ground genealogy. <laughs> I hope to do some of that this year. I'm doing several location books to learn more about locations and I'm going to go visit them. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That's great. Be before we break, could I just put something in about the Tudor ancestry? Yes, of course. <laughs> Tudor is obviously a Welsh name, yes. and a lot of Welsh names are actually patronymics, which mm. means that there is no common descent from a mm. meta ancestor. It's just mm. a number of people who had that particular name as a first name who passed it down their line. So, mm. an awful lot of Tudors in Wales that I've come across, but very few of them, I imagine, were in, related in any genealogical sense to Henry the seventh, but mm. a lot of them claimed it, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's why we've got such, in Wales, we've got so many um, common surnames because they were very popular first names. <laughs> all the Williamses and Joneses and, ev and ev all those sort of things were yeah. um, slight changes from the first names, weren't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Judith, here's my Yorkie waving at you. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> well, this has been a really interesting hour. I I, I love these Zoom sessions because they're always different. Um, you know, just depending on what people are curious about. So, um, thank you for coming and. Um, Thank you to Hillary Weaver um, for, for teaming up with me today. And um, we hope that you'll all come back next month. 
Um, okay. it's thank you very much. Yeah, okay. you're welcome. thank you. Yeah, you're thank welcome. you. I'm going to dig in thank and you, have a lot of questions next month. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye, Bonita. <laughs> I can't see how much is that. Bye. Bye. All right. All right. Just the two of us. <laughs> yeah, and I just just stayed the chat. Um, yeah. These these Sunday sessions are always so much more relaxed than Thursday. Thursdays, I just like you know, it's just like so many people and um, and it just seemed to make more sense for me to be around for the Sunday one because. It, we seem to have got a few people that were more interested in yes. this either they were either in the states wanting to in, in, obviously think they could might link to over here which is right. i thought was might use quite useful because i think one o'clock in the morning is a, is a bit oh. too much for for, yeah. for most but for, for, for unless you're very very keen <laughs> yes and yeah. i mean that's that's why aon and i decided that mm. we really needed to offer a second session that mm. was more um hospitable <laughs> for people. Yeah across the yeah. pond so yeah um, yeah yeah i know i was trying to encourage somebody that i've been mentoring to come to one of these when you first started doing them but i don't <laughs> think um it probably doesn't suit them for whatever reason so <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so anyway um we'll see what see what next next month holds <laughs> right exactly yeah. so yeah, yeah the first whatever that first sunday in uh february is yeah yeah we'll see you okay then. Yeah, right. I'll see you then, if not Thanks, before. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye.